Hey guys, this is Demiro. Um, today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to delete multiple uh, sampler tracks and how to um, delete multiple mixer tracks. Uh, this is pretty easy. Today, I'm just going to go easy today. Not really a huge uh, tutorial, but it is it is very useful because I had a couple friends. You know, they want to sit there and you know delete delete each one separately, and it just takes up a whole much more time than really needed all right so here's how we do this say let's say I want to keep number one number three and number five <coughs> but I want to delete two four and six now normally people would like they would right click click delete and then keep going you know delete delete now that takes up a lot of uh, unnecessary time so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the easy way what you're going to do is right click okay first you're going to select the one you want to delete first so I got one and I'm going to delete three next so you're going to right click right on the little tab right here because if you try to uh, left click it it's just going to it won't like you can drag them and I'll select them all but if you want to like do separate ones it's going to be right clicking so I'm going to click one right click three right click five click alt on your keyboard so hold alt press delete on your keyboard and then hit enter done just that simple instead of you know picking out each one oh, I'm going to delete this I'm going to delete this so much time saved now, say you put a whole bunch of crap on a mixer, you didn't want it. Alright, now this is pretty easy. You're not really you're not able to really delete them, but this is almost like deleting them. Now every FL Studio comes with a default uh mixer preset and it's just you know blank leveled out to hundred <coughs> percent. So pretty much, I mean, if you want to make make your custom one, let's say I want to have a, uh, where is it at? Wave candy. I want to have wave candy load up every time I open up a new track. So pretty much, what you're gonna do is, where is it at? Okay, just file, save, wave candy, and then so you want to um. You want to delete this mixer track number one or number six I mean you're just gonna uh, right click it click F on your keyboard enter and then select wave candy see it's already there so I'm just gonna click enter and it's quick so now say you just want a, a blank you know clean slate what you're gonna do same thing right click it click file I click F on my keyboard to go quicker and then click enter to open so let's do that again right click F enter and then I'm gonna go to default okay so I'm at default open and there you go <coughs> so let's say uh, this one has a whole bunch of stuff on it you just want to start over clean mix alright so since default was your last opened uh, mixer track all you have to do is right click file open enter now you can do it real fast and <laughs> you have all these tracks already cleaned up in like what five seconds you can do that with anything easy 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 you don't have to go click file open with your mouse if you don't want I like I like speeding through really quickly to get everything done as fast as possible and efficiently of course but I don't know I just find that doing all this takes a while you, know, you select it this that but see if you do the uh, if you use your keyboard it's a lot easier so right click F enter enter right click F enter enter just that easy 
Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Hope it helped you guys. Like I said, it wasn't going to be nothing huge or nothing, but it's still it's still a useful um useful tool in FL Studio instead of picking through every single one separately and uh you know, trying to delete them all like that. It's not the most quickest way to do it. But all right guys, make sure you subscribe, like and share with your friends.